Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to continue opening up that Goodwill Blue Box from Dayton, Ohio. And if you haven't seen part one, I'll link it down below. So if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I do unboxings on my channel. And if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorax at gmail.com. And I have a Poshmark store, and I'll link that down below so you can check it out. Okay, guys, let's continue. So this is what we have left after part one. So once again, I'm going to continue to grab some items out of the box and see what we have. And I'll turn on my Presidium. Okay, get that warmed up for us. Okay, first thing out of the box is this lovely bangle. It's enamel, gold tone. It does not seem to be a mark on it. It's very pretty. Could use a good wipe down. But it seems to be in good condition. It's about seven and three quarter inches around. So we have that. Very pretty. And I do notice a flaw here. There's some enamel coming out from right there. So this is not a perfect bracelet, but it's still pretty. If anybody wants this guy, this will be six dollars. Okay, next we have these earrings and they're Country Unlimited and they're Apple earrings. How cute are these? They're little, I think they're made out of wood earrings with some, I think some cord coming out of them. Looks like the stem, really cute. These were three fifty. Uh, let's do these for two dollars. Very cute. I hope everyone is doing well, and hope the weather is behaving wherever you are. I always love to talk about the weather because it's so crazy lately, right? Getting snow one day, sixty degrees one day, thirty degrees next day. Okay, so we have a USB cord here, and I don't know what this is for, but this is definitely not jewelry Goodwill, so that's not cool, but um, if this is useful for anyone, I have a charger here, and let me know if you know what this is for. So we have that. Okay, next we have an earring here silver tone. Do not believe this to be sterling. Has some vertigree happening. So we have a stretchy. Uh, you can see, I mean it's okay condition. It's pretty color. Beautiful rhinestones here, champagne colored rhinestones. If anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. It's cute. get this out in a timely fashion, guys. I'm not the fastest untangler by any means. So we have this, and this is gorgeous, these beads on here. They're sort of a mustardy kind of yellow. And so here's the top of them. And then here is the length. It's really long. So you could definitely double it up or triple them up, just throw it over your head. And this measures 26, about 27 inches drop. So that is 54 inches around the neck. And I wonder, these are Bakelite, I doubt it. But I can test them, I think. 
Let's see if I have the Cinnacone polish. I don't think they are. They just look like plastic, but they're very pretty. So we'll take our Simchrome polish here, take a little bit of the pink, and if it turns, I believe, yellow or red, then it will be, then that's an indication that it is Bakelite. Okay, so let's see. Take a little part here. I definitely don't think this is in rub real hard. And people say they can smell it, you know, when they rub the Bakelite, but I'm not sure if I can when I rub it. Okay, so it's not turning colors, so this is definitely not. Bakelite. But it is very pretty color. And I really like that a lot. So if anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. It's a beautiful color. I have that. Okay. Next. We have a bracelet here, and this is L plus D, so I think this is a brand that I found in my thread up box, and I believe it to be Luca and Danny, I believe, Luca and Danny, and they're made in the USA, and they do all sorts of bracelets. And this has a knot here. It's pretty. It's sort of wire wrapped. Don't think this is sterling. But we'll give it a rub. Yeah, I don't think that's sterling. But it's pretty. If anybody wants this, this will be seven dollars. Okay this over a little bit so I can see what's happening. We have a cha-cha necklace in here. Some pretty spring colors, right? The yellow, the purple, the flowers. That's really invigorating, actually. I am really looking forward to the summer. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty much sort of a hermit <laughs> and an introvert, to tell you the truth, um, ever since COVID. And I wasn't the most social person before COVID and pretty much not very social now, except for going to work and occasionally hanging out with friends, but just hasn't been the same in New York City for a while now, I don't think at least. Okay, so let me see what I can get out of this bunch. This funky bunch. All right, we have a necklace here, and let's see. So we have this necklace and silver tone. Really pretty findings here. Sort of a resin and metals here. This is not marked. Silver tone. It could use a it wiped down. That's pretty. All right, artsy looking. I think. So here's the top of it. And a little kink there. It's very long. And then here is the dangle. This one measures six. 18 inch drop, so that's 36 inches around. It's an interesting necklace. It needs to be polished for sure, so if anybody wants this, this will be $3. Okay, we have a earring hook, cute new wire earring hook, and these feel cold to the touch. I think these are hematite, and we have some lava stones there that you can put some essential oils on. So, I, oh, there's a bonus here. 
So I don't know if you guys like essential oils. If you do, let me know what your favorites are. I love lavender. I love orange. So these are definitely hematite, very pretty. And this measures about six inches around, or six and a quarter inch. Very pretty, if anybody wants this, this will be $7. Yeah, so let me know what your favorite essential oils are. I love lavender, it's very relaxing. Okay, we have a horn. here and it looks like it's carved and it looks like an eagle or a bird. It's a very interesting piece here and I don't know it doesn't look to be ivory. I don't see any cross hatching here. I wonder if this is bone. I don't see any like blood dots, those little black dots. It could be, well, maybe these are it. I don't know if this is bone or type of wood, but that's very interesting. And it's an adjustable cord here. The cord looks a little bit like it's seen a little better days, but that's an interesting piece. Wow. Okay, so we have that. Very cool necklace. Then we have this really pretty flower. And I don't know what kind of flower this is, but that's gorgeous. And this feels like it's made out of porcelain or some type of shell. These could be shell. And these may be wooden beads here. This is a very tropical Hawaiian necklace, in my opinion. And it's gorgeous, really pretty. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures 16 inches around the neck. If anybody wants this, this will be six dollars. It's pretty. Okay. Let's see what's here. This is a Nice gold tone chain. It's lobster clasp. And it's really long. And then we have this interesting bohemian, sort of look artsy looking brass. These feel like glass beads here. There is some wear on the brass there. It's really pretty. I love the colors on this the back of it. It's not marked. This one measures 19 inch drop, so that is 38 inches around. It's really pretty. I like that. If anybody wants this, this will be $8. Very pretty. Okay, we have a bit of a tangled mess here. And of course, it's one of these multi-chain necklaces that is always causing a problem. That's okay. That is okay. We'll just take our time and try and unravel this mystery. So yeah. I Okay guys, so I'm back and I couldn't untangle this one. And this one is an American Eagle Outfitters necklace, but it's multi-chain. And it's multi-chains and it's just a mess and I can't seem to untangle this one. It has really beautiful chains on here and some rhinestones. You could probably craft with this or if somebody can untangle this, this will be a dollar. And we have a silver tone antique chain here. Uh, this seems to be broken, so that will go into craft. 
We have this necklace, shiny silver tone, has a lobster clasp, has these three different chains here. Very pretty. This measures 14 inches around the neck with a two inch extender. If anybody wants this, this will be $2. Neck, this is a really beautiful necklace. It has some bonus hair and everything was tangled up in this, but this is a cha-cha necklace and it has this lobster clasp, gold tone, and it has this really fun cha-cha thing happening here. Beautiful yellow lemon color. And I don't think these are glass. I think they're just acrylic. It's really pretty and fun. I love the color on this. You could definitely double it up. Get a measurement on this guy. This one measures, has an 18 inch drop, so it's 36 inches around the neck. If anybody wants this pretty lemon yellow, this one will be $6. That's beautiful. And then next we have this really beautiful necklace. And I believe these to be glass beads with an AB coating. So this is the top of it, and it's just an endless infidini necklace which you can just throw over your neck. You could definitely double it up. Very pretty and sparkly. You can definitely triple it up. I say tripling up, tripling it up. <laughs> is as far as you can go, and they are knotted in between. And these are faceted. So let's take the presidium here and test. And I believe these are glass. They feel cold to the touch, and they are definitely glass. As you can see there. So these are gorgeous. I just love the AB coating on them. I love the way they feel. I love the way the sounds. These are gorgeous beads on here. Beautiful necklace. So we have that. So that is a great find. Then we have this necklace. These beads feel, some feel cold to the touch. We have a gunmetal chain here. And this one is a Cold Water Creek. So that's nice. A Cold Water Creek necklace. Really pretty smoky colors here. We have like a quartz, smoky quartz, some faceted teardrop shapes. Let's test these stones here. Let's see. That is glass, guys. So let's take a look. And a presidium here. And let's try this one. That is glass, the purple. It's glass as well. Let's try this little guy here. Yeah, so this is an all glass necklace. Really beautiful colors on this cold water creek. It's beautiful. Let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures 16 inches around the neck with a very long extender of five inches. Really beautiful stones on here. Or just glass beads. Beautiful. Love that. This bangle. Leave this to be silver tone. It's not magnetic. There's no mark on it. I wonder if this is a mother of pearl. Hmm. Seems to be moving up towards glass. Or actually it's going up to the garnet tourmaline eyelite family. Hmm. 
going past glass. So I'm not sure what kind of stone this is, guys. It's an ivory colored. It looks like mother of pearl to me, so I'm not sure what it could be. It's really pretty. So we have that really gorgeous angle. And let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at around six and a half inches around. Really pretty, we have that. Okay, then we found this guy, really pretty pendant necklace. There's no mark on this. There's no mark on it. It's beautiful, it looks like a butterfly or a flower and it's translucent in the light. It's faceted, silver tone. I don't know if this is glass or not, but we will test it and see. Whoa, what is this? This is going towards jadeite and spinel. Actually, it's amethyst in the quartz amethyst citrine. This could possibly be amethyst. Yeah, I'm thinking this is amethyst, guys. That's a surprise. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Wow, that's a surprise. Wow, so this could be amethyst. That's beautiful. But this chain looks silver tone. I don't think it is sterling. But you never know, right? I guess we could test a piece of it here. Now I can see the copper coming through right there. So I think this is amethyst. That's really interesting. All right, one more time to test it. Yeah, it's definitely going Past the amethyst. So it's definitely something, guys, and it looks like amethyst. That's beautiful. So we have that. Then we have this these pearls look real to me. They feel a bit gritty. They do have some surface scratches on them. But I think this is a pearl necklace, like a choker. And this is a it's a waxed cord. I don't know if it's leather. It's definitely a waxed cord of sorts, but we have this little pearl here and the pearl in the back. Very pretty. And this measures 14 inches around the neck. We have that. Okay guys, let's go into the box. Now we have some smalls. Let's see what's in here, the rest of the box. Okay. Let's get everything out. Let's see what else is left. What's your opinion of the blue box so far? I think this one is okay. I mean, there's some pretty pieces in here, for sure. Um, I'm always surprised by the jewelry in these boxes, especially like when it looks really bad at first. I mean, I've had some pretty bad boxes, but I think this one was somewhat okay. But let me know what you guys think. I'm not sure if I will buy one for a little bit. But this one was definitely interesting for sure. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this one. 
Okay, so I think that's all that's in the box. So let's scoot this all over and then see what we have here. Okay, first off, we have one of these wooden painted bracelets. Really pretty. Really pretty design on there. And this measures about six and a quarter inches around. If anybody's interested in this, this will be $2. Very pretty. Okay, then we have these earrings, which have been paired up, which is great. They're sparkly, they're silver tone. They do not have a mark. They're hoops, and they just clip on like that. They're in a condition. If anybody wants these, these will be $2. They're fun. Okay, we have a little heart earring. This one's not marked. I think it's just silver tone. Oh, we have a fish. Fish guy here. I'm not sure if this goes with that other pendant we saw earlier, but I'm not sure what this is exactly. If you tie it up or so. We have this little fish guy. And I don't know if he is carved wood or some type of bone. We have him. It's very cute. We have an earring here, gold tone with a pearl. And this one is marked Roman. Or Roman. You can see that. Okay, so we have that. It's very pretty. Let's see if we can find its match. We have this earring here, really pretty. This feels cool to the touch. Let's see if this is, nope, it's just acrylic, pretty. We have one of these guys, it looks like a copper or it's copper hoop. That's pretty. We have a hoop earring here. We have another hoop here. This one says Avon on the back. It's a pretty earring, but it's missing some stones. And we have this gold tone rectangle. Very cute. We have a charm here, or keychain holder, with a little rhinestone studded apple, a little pink pearl, and this says, a great teacher is hard to find and impossible to forget. That is so true. That's very cute. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. It's a great gift for a teacher. We have some loose beads here. We have a gold tone hoop. We have some more loose beads. We have a acrylic earring here. We have a gold tone earring. Okay. And we have these pretty earrings. Gold tone. These are these were originally two dollars, probably at the Goodwill. And these pretty blue, sparkly stones. Let's see if this test is anything. It's going up to glass. So I think these are glass. Very pretty. I love the color on these. Very 80s. Almost have a Star Trek feel to them. Um, yeah, I like those a lot. If anybody wants these, these will be $5. I like those. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted one of these pins. This is a Monet pin, the butterfly, and I've never received this pin before, and I've always wanted it in the back, right there. So I might hold on to this for a little bit and um, keep him. But, um, yeah, he will be for sale probably in the future, but I've always wanted him. So very happy about that. And we have a silver tone hoop. OK, 
Okay. We have a arrow ring. Looks like it's missing some of the silver tone there. We have a button. We have a Luca and Danny. So I think this might belong to the bracelet we saw earlier. And then we have this bracelet, stretchy. Pretty colors. It looks a little bit loose, but pretty beads on this. So if anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Then we have this really pretty necklace the top of it. There's a lobster clasp, but there's no tag on this. It's three layers of gorgeous beads. We have these different shaped foiled beads. I wonder if this is glass. Yeah, it's going up to glass, guys. So I believe these to be glass. Really beautiful beads on this. If you can see this. In all of its glory. Let's back up. So that is the necklace. Gorgeous. This measures 11 inch drop, 22 inches around the neck, with an extender of two and a half inches. Beautiful glass bead necklace. Really pretty color. We have that. Then we have this little plasticky guy. Okay. Then we have this uh, breast cancer awareness ribbon. It's blue. I think this is, I don't know if this is breast cancer awareness because it has animals on it. I'm not sure. But there is a dog and a cat on here. Actually, it says something on the back here. Let's see. It says, created by actors and others for animals. So that's what it says on the back. It's cute. And we have this metal earring. We have a, not sure. We have this thing, which looks like a door knocker earring. We have a silver tone earring here. We have a screw back earring. It looks like it's missing something. We have a heart earring here, and this looks like a juicy couture. So we have a juicy earring. Don't know if we'll find a match here. We have a button. We have one of these, and this could be a stone. Next we have this very pretty earring. It's gold tone. It's a clip-on and we have these sequins here. Very pretty but there's only one. But this can definitely be made into a pendant for sure. Really pretty. So if anybody's interested in this one we will do two dollars on that. Okay we have a pretty necklace here. This is, I think it's, it's sort of a gold tone. And then we have this yellow bead here. And this tests, it's going towards glass. So I'm not sure what this is. I think it is glass. It's pretty though. Really bright yellow color. If anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. Okay, then we have this giant pearl here. We have a bit stretchy. We have a peacock earring. We have a rhinestone earring here. We have a little CZ earring. Let me test this real quick. 
Whoa. What is this? I don't know, guys. This is going towards ruby and sapphire. So here is my presidium. Here is the little earring here. And it looks like it wants to go to diamond. Let's just calibrate this and see if it goes. You know, I wonder if I need to recalibrate this thing. Hmm, I wonder if this is a diamond earring. I'm thinking it could be. Well, I'm not sure what this is, but we have that, and I will need to look into this guy a little bit more. All right, and we have here a little beaded earring, little moon. And we have this hoop earring, very pretty, silver tone. We have this little elephant earring with pretty stone there. We have a single earring here, door knocker. We have a little caged silver stone earring. We have this pretty multicolored matte black metal earring. I think there's just one of them. And we have this, and this bracelet's all stones. I don't know what kind of stones here. Let's test them and see. We have it looks like to be going up to jadeite and spinel. We have this blue one here. That one's in the. It's going up to the tourmaline iolite. We've got an orange one here. It's going up to garnet tourmaline iolite. The black stone. And this purple one should be amethyst. So we have all sorts of stones on this guy. Really pretty, and it has an M charm here. It's pretty. And this measures seven inches around. Pretty, very nice. We have that, then we have this rhinestone earring. We have a little finding here. We have this silver tone earring. We have a stud earring. A little gold tone hoop. We have a little, oh this is cute, a little brass cameo uh, laughing theater people. That's really cute. I wonder if this is sterling. I will test that later. Then we have this earring here. That's really pretty. We have this beautiful earring, which is by Avon. So that's an Avon earring, and it has a little bail here, so you could, I guess you could wear it as a, as a pendant, but that would hurt, right, wouldn't it, if you had that there? But I don't know, but you could certainly convert this into a pendant. Just cut that off. That's beautiful. Little angel. And then we have a little virus earring. We have this corded necklace, and these look like ceramic painted beads, really pretty. And 
we have that. If anybody wants this, this will be three dollars. And we have this earring here. And we have this little tiny guy. Really pretty. This gorgeous marcasite earring. But we only have one of them, and this is a 925. -er. So that's sad that we only have one of them. We have this earring, a dangling one. Pretty. A little pretty teardrop rhinestone earring. Then this one, little guy. It's a bonus hair. And we have this gorgeous shell. Abalone necklace, abalone, abalone necklace. Gorgeous collar design here. You can see it's really pretty. I like that a lot. It's gorgeous. All right? Let's get a measurement on this one. This measures 16 inches around the neck with a two inch extender. That's beautiful. That's the back of it. Really pretty. I like that one a lot. Then we have this little guy. And I don't know what this is, if it's a bird. Not sure. There is no mark on him. Let's see what the stone could be. Ooh. Okay, this is going up to ruby and sapphire. I don't know how accurate that is, but as you can see, it's going up to topaz maybe now? Would that be topaz? I don't know. And then we have the single little rhinestone or diamond right there. So let me see if I can test it. So I don't know, that's going up to ruby and sapphire as well. I don't know guys what this is, but we have him. We'll test him for silver later. And we have another single earring here. And that is magnetic. We have this really pretty articulated earring. Unfortunately, there's only one of them. And it's magnetic, really cute. Love that. We have a hoop earring. Then we have this tag here. And it says KCN3704. And then we have this pretty scarf clip. And this says West Germany. That's really beautiful. Really beautiful, lightweight, like that. And I think that is it, guys. I think that is all she wrote. So. That was the end of this Goodwill Blue Box from Dayton, Ohio. Let me know what you thought of it. I thought there were some really interesting pieces of jewelry in this for sure. Like this was a gorgeous piece. I love the scarf pin. What else did I like in here? I think I liked all the glass necklaces that we saw. So really interesting glass necklaces here. Overall, I think it's, it was an interesting box for sure. So yeah, guys, let me know what your favorites were. If you had any, leave a comment down below. Once again, I'm reaching 1,000 subscribers, and once I do, I will be doing a giveaway. Not sure what I'll be giving away yet. Um, I'm thinking of maybe a Goodwill Blue Box or a Thread Up box. I'm not sure. Depends um, what you guys would like. So if you leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd 
like to win, let me know. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, spending some time with me. I hope this was fun for you. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified of my next video. And most of all, guys, be well.